This video will demonstrate a safe and reproducible method to position patients in the beach chair position for shoulder arthroscopy. Our disclosures can be found here. Prior to patient transfer to the bed, it is essential to make sure all equipment are available for efficient positioning. Before the patient is brought into the room, a gentle bend is placed in the bed. This allows for the patient to localize their hips to the right location during transfer to eventually facilitate sitting upright easily without moving them up or down to the right location once asleep. A leg foam ramp or pillows should be placed below the patient's legs to prevent the patient from slumping as they are sat upright. The bed will eventually be upright as is shown here once the patient is positioned and anesthetized. Now we are ready to position the patient. Here the patient is asleep and the lower leg wedge is placed under the patient and pushed up towards the buttock. A thigh strap is then applied and while one person is holding the head securely, the pillow is removed and the table is raised up allowing the patient to be sitting upright in the beach chair position. We then completely loosen the articulating head holder and we bring it up to the patient's head. Once the proper head position is maintained, it's easier to bring the headrest to the patient to safeguard that the patient's neck is in a neutral position. The head is then secured in place with a foam face mask, which is then made sure to be applied to the forehead and to the chin of the patient. Uh, this particular beach chair allows for the backrest to be slid uh, away from the operative site uh, in order to allow the entire scapula to be free of the back of the bed. So we double check our trunk head neck alignment and make sure the medial board of the scapula remains free. And once the face mask is tightened and the head is positioned, the kidney posts are then pushed into place on either side and secured. The table then can be tilted away from the surgeon. This is particularly helpful in instability cases where the surgeon may be pulling traction and pulling the patient towards them. So any final adjustments to the head position can be performed at this time. On the opposite side, we place an armrest, which is brought up so that the elbow is placed at no more than 90 degrees of flexion and in a neutral position. And then we make sure that the forearm and the uh, wrist bony prominences are well padded. At this point in time, a full examination under anesthesia should be performed. This typically includes full range of motion in all planes, including abduction, forward elevation, and external rotation. Glenohumeral stability is also examined, including anterior and posterior load and shift in a sulcus sign. The arm is then suspended temporarily using finger traps or a stockinette for hands-free holding during prepping and draping, and a proprietary mechanical arm holder is then placed at the ipsilateral side railing of the foot of the bed, and we recommend checking to make sure it's able to reach the forearm and facilitates positions that will be used for the case. Now that we are ready to prep the patient in a usual sterile fashion, we place a U-drape below the arm and a square drape placed across the neck. To isolate the area, this can be tucked into the headrest to prevent it from falling down into the sterile field during prepping. Once sterilely prepped, an impervious U-drape is placed both inferiorly and superiorly. First inferiorly, and great care is taken to ensure that the drape stays medial to the medial board of the scapula. And then a superior drape is applied as well, and this drape is attached circumferentially around the superior shoulder at the base of the lateral neck. After this, we place our final surgical drape in a similar fashion, and then an ioband is used to cover the axilla after which we place a sterile sleeve over the mechanical arm holder and slide that into place. The arm is then taken down after briefly being suspended and an impervious stockinette is placed over the hand, wrist, and forearm, and we roll it up proximal to the elbow. It is then strapped into the mechanical arm holder securely. Uh, the arm holder is overwrapped with Coban to prevent any loosening or slippage of the arm. The coban is then taken up proximal to the stockinette so that it comes into contact with the patient's skin to prevent slippage. The borders of the drapes and the stockinette uh, and coban are then wrapped in ioband to facilitate a watertight seal. Anyone who participated in draping then changes their outer gloves. Uh, the arm is then positioned for arthroscopy with a little bit of flexion. The drapes are secured and then the screens are brought down into place. The petals are appropriately positioned and the screens are set up so that way we have two screens showing the arthroscopic view and one also showing patient specific images. We are now ready to pause and perform a safety check and begin with the case. We thank you for your time and attention.